Welcome everyone. One time I went to the grocery store, a food store over here called Kaufland. It's like a mega food store. Uh, you can buy food there, well, mostly food, uh, but you, sometimes there's clothes and tools and all kinds of things. It's like a Walmart mega store, but the Kaufland is more about food. It comes from the word, here's a little German lesson, it comes from the word kaufen, which means to buy. And land is like land, yeah? Toyland and Wonderland and Daveland, <laughs> where everything is goofy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Daveland. <laughs> Ah, shoot. Any <laughs> oh, my. But anyway, Kaufland, it's a, it, the food is good food, and it's really good priced. You know, it's one of the places I like to go because the prices are really good for good products. You know, being in Germany, my name is, it sticks out. Yeah, <laughs> little elk. And uh, one time I was paying for my stuff, and over here... Uh, we have something called an EC card. It's like an electronic card. In America, that would be like a debit card. But if you get it from your bank, yeah? So instead of paying cash, you can use your EC card to pay everything, and it takes it from your bank account electronically. So um, that's the way I usually do things. Well, a lot of times when you use your EC card, they sometimes you have to sign something. It's electronic, but it, you, there's still a pen attached to it. And uh, I was at this Kaufland, and I was buying some food, some coconuts, and some pineapples. <laughs> and a piece of salami. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Coconuts. <laughs> what am I going to do with coconuts? I don't know. <laughs> anyway i was standing in line and it was my turn now so i was putting my food on the you know that little conveyor belt thing and, and the lady was adding things up at the cash register and then uh she told me how much it's gonna cost so i said okay i'm going to pay with the ec card so she said okay so i put my card in the the machine um but for some reason <laughs> It wasn't reading too good. I think that there was some dirt in the machine or something because she said that they've been having problems and I think somebody probably had a lot of gunk on their card and some of that gunk got inside the card reader. So she put the card in and she took it out. Still wasn't working, so she was wiping my EC card. It looks like a credit card. So she was wiping the card and she noticed my name and she said, Ah, 
Wow, little elk, kleiner Hirsch. She said, that's the German translation for little elk. And she said, wow. She said, uh, are you, in, I'll just say everything in English, okay? She said, wow, are you an uh, Indian? So I said, yeah. Wow, cool, she said. And I said, yeah, and I'm a Sioux Indian because people over here know what a Sioux Indian is. And then she said, yeah, dance with wolves. She said, cool. <laughs> she knew the movie. And she was looking at my card and she was saying, wow, that's a really beautiful name. She said, wow. And she kept saying wow all the time. And uh, so <laughs> I was like, wow, this, nah. I, I, I was coming into store feeling just so-so, you know, nothing special. And now I'm having this experience. And, and I was like, well, I'm, this is, I'm feeling happy. Yeah, this feels good. And um, I was like, oh. You know, that's nice. You know, sometimes this happens to me in Germany because I'm the only Lakota in Germany, as far as I know. I mean, there's there's a Dakota guy here too and, and there's a couple of other native guys, from, but they're from other tribes. Um, and me, I, I am the only Lakota here, as far as I know. Anywho, so... And we had a really good experience. Yeah? She was just, you know, really smiling and happy. And I was packing my food in the bag. And you know, when we got done with the payment, she said, Oh, yeah, I wish you a really good day, she said. And I said, You too. <laughs> Thank you, she said. And then I started pulling away. And I turned around. She was with the next customer. And then she was, Ah, oh, hello, she said. And then she she would say something to them, and I was like, wow, this lady is really something, yeah? And I, I stood there for a little bit, and I, I, I was watching in the distance, and how she was with everybody. She was really charming, and, and people, I noticed when they were leaving the cash register, or her cash register, everybody was smiling, yeah? And I thought, wow, this is... This is really cool, yeah, that this person is giving medicine like that. Yeah? It's, wow, what a wonderful experience everybody is having. Maybe people were having difficult days and maybe they had a tough day at work or whatever because this was in the afternoon and they're walking away, you know, all smiles. And I thought, wow, isn't that nice to, to be able to influence somebody to feel better just by saying some nice things, smiling, and making people laugh. And I thought, wow, this is, I bet she really enjoys her job. Yeah, so she's one of those people that just has that ability. And I thought, wow, this is, this is a healer. Yeah, this is, this is really a healer. She's spreading energies and and this energy goes inside of you and it influences you to to alter your thoughts and you go around thinking, wow, I feel pretty good. And so when you meet people, you're, you're smiling and, and, you know, they're looking at you saying, what are you smiling at? <laughs> and so, you know, you tell them, well, you know, it's a good day, yeah? I'm bet to kila lila wa shte. And I thought, wow, this is so cool to be able to do that. I'm so thankful to uh, have that experience. So, the next time I went, I was looking for her, her aisle, yeah, her cash register, because every time they're at different cash registers. So I was looking around and saying, where is she at? Where is she at? I'm going to go stand in her line. <laughs> And so there she was, yes, and I went over there, and well, there was a long line. <laughs> but I thought, oh, I'm going to wait, because the experience is always going to be good, yeah? And then next to her, there was another lady saying, oh, my aisle's open, you can come here. And I said, no, I'm going to stay in this one. <laughs> and there, there were a few others, too, that they didn't want to go to that one, yeah? They wanted to stay in with this one. And I thought, isn't that so cool, yeah? And uh, in front of me was a Muslim woman, and she was with her little boy, and he must have been about maybe six or eight years old. And he was not looking too 
you know, like he wasn't feeling too good. Maybe he wanted to buy an ice cream and his mom wouldn't let him or something like that. That kind of not feeling good, yeah? <laughs> like he was kind of pouting, yeah? And so they got to the cash register and she was like, ah, hello, you know, the, the lady at the cash register. She was like, hello, and uh, they were making some small talk and then the cash register lady looked at the little boy and she said, ah, and then she said something, I didn't hear it, uh, but he kind of cracked a smile, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he could see the expression on his face change and like he just lit up yeah it's just like he was you know not feeling good and all of a sudden he, he smiled and you could just see his face light up and i thought oh that is so cool to see yeah to see that transformation and when they were done paying for their food you know she said yeah you know see you guys later and he turned around and waved at her and, and you know, he said that, uh, Auf Wiedersehen, yeah, I'll see you again. <laughs> he was really in a good mood. And I thought, wow, this lady is really, she's, she, she's giving really healthy energy, yeah, healthy medicine out with everybody going through. And then it was my turn and, and she recognized me. Ah, her, her. Kleine Hirsch, she said. <laughs> she would call me Little Elk in German, yeah. And uh, she said, oh, how are you doing today? And yeah, I'm doing really good and, and you know, so forth. And, and uh, we had a small discussion. I can't remember if it was about the weather or whatever. And just those few minutes standing there, you're just like, ah, it's like you're... Like you've gone through a cleansing or something. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's so cool. And then I walked away feeling, you know, all smiles and everything. And it's so wonderful. Yeah. So I thought, you know, anybody can do this. Yeah. And I noticed that it had an effect on me and people could notice it. Maybe about a few minutes later, see, I was supposed to have an appointment with somebody there to meet and talk about certain things. And when I met this person, it was more of an acquaintance, and not really a friend, but she said, why are you smiling? She said, <laughs> I said, I feel good. I said, I'm in a good mood. And then she said, wow. She said, yeah, I wish I could feel like that. She said, <laughs> I said, go to Kaufland. And <laughs> buy something and, and go to cash register so and so it's a it's a short red haired lady and she's a short woman she has red hair she wears glasses and, and <laughs> then go stand in her her, her line and, and then you know what I mean <laughs> oh my that was so cool but then I started to think look somebody noticed it on me yeah, it's like I got the uh, medicine from this woman uh, at Kaufland, and uh, now I'm meeting somebody, and she picked up on it. And as we were talking, that energy is coming out of me, and what whatever we were talking about, she, you could see the change in her too. So it was like transferring. Yeah, it was passing from me to her. And most likely when she went home, she passed that energy on to her son. Look at this. Yeah, this throwing a pebble in a water effect here. And, and, and how it goes out. Yeah, all communication does that. You know, I'm talking about a healthy version. And just imagine when it's unhealthy. When somebody says something really unhealthy and it hurts you. And you, you say, ah, I can, I can fight it off, you know. But it goes deep inside of you still. And it does something to you. So then you bump into somebody and they pick up on that. And maybe it does something to them too. You see what I mean? People, we are all connected to each other. Yeah, we are all connected to each other. This is mitakwe ayasin. We're all relatives in the molecular way. Yeah, we all come from earth, wind, fire, and water. And, you know, we all have this. We all have, there's something in our sacred centers where 
our physical body, our, our minds, our emotions, and our soul all connect in that area inside of you. This is your sacred center. And we all connect to each other from that point. So when that, whatever we communicate, it affects everything around us. And not only that, it affects everything inside of us too. So when we are hurt or not feeling good or or something, or, or maybe we're, we're feeling unhealthy in some some issue or whatever, and we send out something to attack or hurt somebody, you know, we talk mean to them, ah, blah, 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 you know, and they didn't deserve that. They don't know what's going on, but yet you did that to them. Yeah, that's the energy going out. And in Lakota natural law of generosity, which is called Wawokia, that energy returns to you four times as strong. So you, even though you might have, you know, affected this other person in an unhealthy way, it's going to come back to you four times as strong. You're messing yourself up more than the people you talk to in an unhealthy way. Now, turn it around. And let's go back to this lady at Kaufland. She's sending out a healthy energy and you feel it. When you talk with her, you feel the warmth, the honesty, the innocence in her voice. You feel it. Yeah, and that is really healthy medicine coming out. And that goes inside of you and it causes you to feel a certain way. And it spreads out again. And so what she's doing See, that's healthy energy that's coming back to her four times as strong. And then as I met my acquaintance, I sent it out too. And so it, that what I sent out was also healthy. That's going to come back to me four times as strong in a healthy way. And then my acquaintance, now she has it. And now she's going to go and talk to maybe her family or friends. And it passes on. And look at what can happen from something like that? From something as simple as a smile. Yeah? Because that's the one thing my acquaintance noticed about me. Like I said, she was like, what are you so happy about? Why are you smiling like that? <laughs> and the funny thing is, I didn't even realize I was smiling. I didn't realize that. I, I didn't realize I was smiling until she said it. Yeah? And I thought, wow, that is so cool. And so I, I thought, you know, we can all do this. Yeah, we can, all, we can all do this very simple thing as, you know, smiling at somebody. Saying something nice. Even saying, hello. Have a nice day. Something as simple as a warm smile can really change things for people unless unless your mouth is kind of goofy looking <laughs> i know that could work too yeah <laughs> ah, shoot. anyway think about it yeah and think about it and uh, let the story work inside of you and I hope it can bring a smile to your face. Now go talk to somebody. Yeah, and smile, say something nice. Spread the energy, spread the medicine. This is what we can do. This is what we are designed to do. We are blessings. We are beings of love. And we fulfill that calling by learning from difficulties and, you know, to enjoy blessings. When you learn from difficulties, they become blessings. And when you speak, that love is in your voice. Just like this lady from Kaufland. The way she is, it tells you something about her. And I'm very, very thankful that... I had that experience, yeah, because shortly before that, I was going through an incredibly difficult time. My world was basically uh, flipped upside down, and I was barely standing, but I was standing. 
but it worked out. Yeah, and then I come to the store and buying some food and, and then having this experience. And I'm like, wow, that is so cool. Yeah, so yes, life is not always going to be easy. But as long as we learn from it and make the best of it, that's the important thing. The important thing is how you live your life. As long as you're doing the best job that you can, it will show in your communication. Yeah, like this lady from Kaufland. I went to shop there many times. Yeah, I, I've lived there for several years and I always made sure that if she was working on that day, that I would stand in her line and receive my medication. <laughs> one time, the store opens at 7 o'clock in the morning. And one time, I was up that early. Yeah, so <laughs> I was up at farmer hours. <laughs> so I thought, I'm going to beat the rush. Yeah, uh, because this store is really busy. It's in the nice part of Berlin. And it's very, very busy. And so I thought, I'm going to get there early and get my shopping done. And I was coming around, you know, this aisle and I was, you know, still, still really sleepy. And somebody said, oh, hello, guten Morgen, she said. <laughs> and I was like, who is saying that to me? I opened my eyes a little bit wider. Hey. <laughs> and here, it was her. She was shopping too. <laughs> So I really woke up fast. <laughs> Started my day out really good. Yeah. <laughs> so she's like that even in her normal life. It's not part of her, you know, I must be friendly to the customers so they'll come back and shop here routine. It had nothing to do with that. She was always this way. And we can be this way too. Yeah. I encourage all of us to be that way too. Lila Pila Mayelo, Mitaku Ayasin. Lakota Star Knowledge Spirituality, you can read my book called Wichoha Otechike. You can see the book cover on the right side of this screen. This book contains the information to what I talk about on my Lakota Spirituality videos. To purchase this book, please click below where it says Show More. Clicking on that link will open up the description below. And there you will see a link called to purchase my books. As you will see, it's an eBay link. Click on that eBay link and there you will see the information to get this book. Lila Pilamayelo. Thank you very much. <laughs>